All right. Well, Angie, thanks so much for joining me today. As you know, the most important thing that we do in our work is to get you results. And I was looking back at where you were when we started our work together and was looking at where we are now and reviewing all of the amazing things that have happened for you in your business. And um, I know that your, your growth goals have completely increased and your very expansive thinking now. Um, tell me a little bit about when we started working together. Um, what did it feel like and, and where were you as far as being comfortable with your financials and, and knowing your numbers and being in a position of um, where you are now compared to where you were when we started? Yeah, um, hi, Andrea. So I think that the easiest way to describe where I was is I felt like I was on the brink of bankruptcy. I had a ton of debt and it was preventing me from growing the business. So I felt like I was cash starved. And um, how I was with numbers, I always thought that I was really good with the numbers and I understand the analytics and I really love business math, but I never know what to do with it. So um, working with Cashflow CFO really gave me an overarching view of how to strategize and how to, how, what to do with those numbers. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. So tell us a little bit about where you are now in your business um, and what have you been able to achieve working with our team? Yeah, um, you know, you guys really helped me hit the reset button in so many ways. You know, um, COVID was actually a good opportunity for me to reset myself with an idle loan. And where I'm at right now, um, I'm sleeping at night. I don't wake up worrying about money. Um, you guys take care of more and more of my bookkeeping. And it just makes me feel more secure knowing that it's not something I have to worry about. You know, I don't. Uh, wake up on the first of the month anymore wondering uh, where the money is going to come from to pay people. Um, you guys are allocating for me, which has been absolutely huge. Um, I didn't think I could afford you guys. I really, I didn't. I didn't think my business was big enough. And uh, that was a crazy way of thinking because I couldn't afford not to have you guys. So I'm going on um, the end of my second. So this will be my third year. And each year I see growth, but more importantly, I see more profit in my business. So I love that you guys uh, want me to take a good, healthy paycheck. I finally feel like I'm paying myself what I'm worth. And it's kind of sad that it took a total stranger <laughs> valuing me and teaching me to value myself so I love that I love that yeah we've seen such a, a tremendous just growth as a, a business owner and and taking that next step and that next step and that next step and the numbers you know tell the story for the results that you've had in doing that so it's been tremendous for you really really excited that we've had this opportunity to partner with you and and um, experience this growth with you I love it okay thank you what would you say is one thing that if someone's considering a fractional CFO, um, what's one thing that you would advice you would give them? Yeah, um, what you've given me above everything else is a strategic partner. So it was a benefit that I really wasn't aware that I'd be getting. And, you know, talking to your manager or your spouse or your mom or whoever's in your tight circle, um, you're always going to get um, a more emotional outlook. You're always going to get I would say kind of a jaded view and having the fractional CFO relationship, I just get, um, well, we're great friends and I appreciate that so much, but I get great strategic business advice and I don't feel like there's a ton of emotion tied to it. So I just feel like I could get, get good, clean advice from you guys. So the fractional CFO relationship um, it's not something that's for big businesses only. I think it's for, I am a medium-sized business, just under a million. And I can't imagine going a month without the CFO services. Yeah, I love that. Thank you, Angie. Thanks, Andrea.